Hello, I'm Luke Sutcliffe for Selling Sport Journalism. We're here at Test Park to watch the rugby first gear up for the third league game of the season. The first have lost their first two league games to Marjons and Winchester respectively and have been without club captain Harry Sivright and first team captain Leo Robertson. Sivright is out of a broken leg and Robertson is out of an infected bug bite. Both have yet to feature this year. We spoke to Leo Robertson to find out how he's dealing with his injury. Yeah, so basically I got an infection in my leg. Um, so I, I don't even know exactly how it started, but I think it started with like an insect bite, uh, which I've then scratched and somehow it's got infected. Um, so it was a little bit red at first, and then it got, it got progressively worse and it started to swell. Um, so first I went to St Mary's surgery, um, and they prescribed me antibiotics, and they told me if it got worse to come back in. Uh, the next day it got a lot, lot worse, and it was uh, very difficult to uh, walk on. Um, so I went to A&E, and they took a look at it for me, um, and that's when they told me I need to be operated on. Um, and yeah, it's really frustrating to, uh, watching the sideline. Um, obviously, there's only so much you can shout and try and sort of spur the team on, but you know, much rather be out there um, playing and helping the team out, definitely. Robertson's coach, Sheridan Easton, had this to say on the loss of his pitch captain. He's recovering from that, so he won't be back until just before Christmas, which is a real shame because he's a, a real quality act. Whilst he doesn't talk a lot, he is what I call a natural leader, where people just follow. Uh, he's literally like uh, in World War One, if the, you know the uh, the officer went over the top with his little handgun. That's Leo for you. He's he's a great guy, fantastic player, and people look up to him. Despite the injuries, the first are training hard to turn around the recent form. That's all for now. Join us next time on Solent Sport News.